Hey guys, it's Jesus modded of Distant Gamers, and today we have a Cinema 4D tutorial. Today's tutorial will be on global illumination. I said in an earlier video that I would be making one, and I. Well, yeah, here it is. Enough said. Uh, so we're gonna start off, um, and if you're gonna use a Cinema 4D tutorial, you might wanna have Cinema 4D open. I'm sorry, it's 2.30 and I just woke up, <sighs> like, 30 minutes ago. So go on, I'm going to apply my preset. Okay, so it'll take you to this. Um, yeah, you're going to go option, or effect, I'm sorry, it's, yeah, global illumination. And, oh, excuse me. Uh, um, you can either do, I'm sorry about that, phone, um, IRC QMC, camera animation or full animation, I'm going to do full, irradiance cache, uh, low, and irradiance cache file, I'm just going to uncheck auto save, that's pretty much all you really need for, uh, global illumination settings. Let me show you a little bit about them. Uh, let's say I want to do text, MoGraph. And we'll do tutorial. A cute little font here. Let's see if you can find one. Oh, that's cool. You guys might notice in Cinema 4D tutorials, or in all of my tutorials, my, my laptop really lags a lot, but it's because I'm on just on my laptop. It'd be different if I um, was using my other computer. Let's see, it's good or... Dev Gothic, let's see what this looks like. That's cool. So just move it on to the middle. <clears throat> Looks great right there. Okay. And to use the lighting for global illumination, a really cool technique is to just take a plane. Let's see. It's about 5,000. It spreads a lot of the map. There we go. Let's create two materials. One of them, uncheck color, check luminance, and you're good to go. The other one, our color, let's see, let's actually just give it kind of like a whitish color, and luminance, we're going to set it to 20, I'm not sure if this is going to look out right, but we'll see, reflection, 10, Fresnel, 35, specular, 13 and 97 for width and height and we're going to apply that to the tutorial nope. I forgot we're going to put the material one the bright one onto the plane I'm just going to raise that way up there and I just want to add a quick floor right there on the tutorial and let's add a little bit of depth And some caps. Just a full A cap. Fill it, my bad. Uh, set the radius to about 10. That generally looks alright. Maybe a little too thick. Strike 3. Alright, if we do a quick render out. Mm, this will take just a second. Uh, for anyone who has more cores, this will probably be faster on your com computer. Um, like I've always said. But, um, yeah, it's also going to be a little bit slower because I'm, uh, recording. Alright, you 
so you can see it as it's coming out. It's got a really nice reflection on it. See, there you go. Illumination, reflection, lighting's nice. Got a little bit of realistic shadow going on. And actually, let's add this material to the floor also. And see how this looks. I'm not sure if this will come out clean or not. It was worth a try though. That's one of the things for Cinema 4D when you want to create a video. Sometimes you have to just try things and wait and see if it works. And if not, scrap it or redo it and keep going. I I know when I first began this, I said, oh, I'll never be able to be any good at this because I never thought I was creative. I mean, I have a couple things here and there that I've done well. I got all my inspiration from Miles GFX, though. When he started making my first intros, I absolutely loved him. And <clears throat> I ended up getting the, the program. And I don't know. It's just. He says I've passed him up, but I know he's still great. So here we are. I have a nice little reflection of the light on the floor. That looks cool. Oh, I probably would rather make that where it's not uh, able to be seen. Uh, we can do that by compositing and not seen by camera. <clears throat> That actually might still reflect on the floor. That's not what we want to do. Um, that actually should work right there. I'm just going to do one more quick render. And we'll be right back if that works. <coughs> so, so you can see it. I wish you guys could have seen how much faster that went as soon as I disabled uh, the recording. That still didn't come out right, I realized what I probably should do. So I'm going to create another a copy of this by control clicking and dragging. Move that off the floor. I'm just going to turn off the reflection. And throw that back on the floor. And that's pretty much it for today, guys. Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like in a second. Alright, here we go. Here's the final product. Uh, looks really nice, really clean. Definitely better than the natural lighting that they use. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I know I made it a little bit lengthy, and the rendering took up a lot of it. But yeah, uh, it's Jesus modded. Signing out. I'll see you guys later. Enjoy.